Hi there, it's Ruth here at Artful Stampin' with another One Sheet Wonder Wednesday. I've had lots of people asking me about how to make um, the custom ink pads that I've been doing on some of my videos, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. Um, I, I take two baby wipes and just fold those in half and then try and find a plastic container of some sort. Now, I use these um, old plastic shell casings that um, Stampin' Up! used to supply their rubber stamps in. Um, because it means that I can actually close it up and then um, keep the ink um, moist uh, on the on the baby wipe to use another time. Now the thing I have found though is that you have to always store them flat because if you tip them in any way the ink tends to run so um, they become kind of unusable really. Okay, so what I do, um, well today what we're going to be doing is stamping lots and lots of butterflies. So um, I've already put them, placed them onto my acrylic block and I'm going to show you how I um, create my ink pads so that it's where the colours are where I want them to go. <clears throat> so I've got three colours here. I've got uh, rose red, um, what's that one, Cajun craze and crushed curry. So what you do is you decide where you want the colour to be on the stamp and then you just start applying the colour, just dab it on, dot it on to the, the stamp where you'd like the colour to go. So this is not too tricky at all, you just kind of squeeze the bottle a little bit and apply the colour. And then you just do that with all the colours that you want to use. Okay, this is the crushed curry now. And this is great for if you're wanting to stamp multiple um, images. Okay, so then what you do is you get your, you place your stamp down and you take the custom pad and you put it over the top like so and you just gently put some pressure on it and then you actually take the whole thing and turn that upside down or kind of the right way around really and then push that down into the custom pad. Okay. So then what happens then is that you can kind of see roughly where the colours go. Now if I was using lots of different colours like, like reds and greens and yellows or something it would make it kind of a bit easier to see where the colours are. Um, and because I'm using kind of colours that work into each other it's perhaps a little bit trickier to see where to add the extra inking. Um, but you can kind of get a good idea and you you should be able to remember from when you actually applied the colour. Okay, so I've just put an extra few blobs on there. Oops. So then when you actually go to re-ink your stamps, just remember to place your stamps exactly in the same spot that you created the ink pad with. Okay, so um, I've gone ahead and I've cut my card um, because I'm going to be making some little... Um, boxes out of this. So um, I've already cut it to um, 18 centimetres by 27 centimetres, all that is. And I'm doing it in, imp in Imperial as well because um, a few people have asked me for those measurements. Um, so that's uh, 7 and 1 8 of an inch by 10 and 11 sixteenths. And I know that sounds really kind of detailed, but that's because it has to be. Okay, so there we go. That's my first impression there. And I'm really liking how that's coming out because um, the butterflies are looking gorgeous. Okay, so um, I'm going to go and stamp again. And um, I'm filming this at night, so... I know the lighting is not brilliant, but I will take some really good photographs tomorrow once um, the sun comes up and um, I can get some good photos and those will go on my blog so you can see how this really looks.
Now if you saw the video that I did a couple of weeks ago um, using this kind of technique where I put a few stamps together um, <clears throat> you'll see that I did that with a different kind of combination. I did it with some hearts and it kind of works really well because um, it's a great way of decorating a large space of card uh, with a repeat pattern in a kind of quick way. Okay, so you can see how I'm building that up. And already I'm nearly finished doing this. side just to fill that gap in. Okay there we go and I think what I might do is get the gorgeous grunge stump just to fill in some little spots. I'm just making sure this is clean because I've obviously used it for something else and it's a little bit mucky but um okay so I'm just gonna fill in a few areas so the butterflies don't look so stark against the background and it's a good thing to try and just pick up you can always put the stamp back in exactly the same kind of position so that you're not mixing up the colours too much. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to close my custom ink pad and that's going to be ready for me to use that again. And um, I've already scored down here, down the middle at uh, nine centimetres. So then I'm just going to chop this up. So again, if you're doing this in uh, imperial measurements, that's uh, three and one sixteenth. And then just cut it again. Oh no no, sorry, not three and one sixteenth, three and nine sixteenths. Sorry. Three and nine sixteenths. Oh, and then I'm gonna just score this then down the middle, or just at the top and the bottom, so um at four and a half centimetres, which that is really tricky to find out the imperial measurement, I have to confess. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, it's kind of two and three quarters, but it's two and three quarters and a quarter of an sixteenth. I'll let you guys figure that out. My lovely friends in the United States can, can figure that out. Okay, so then um, I'm going to score then at... I fold that in half and I'm going to score if I can find a bone folder oh I can't find it so I'll have to use this you just score from the top in the middle to the edge there and top to edge there and then just fold Oh, that didn't score very well. Oh well. There we go. Just like that. Okay. And then you do the same too. Okay, I'm just going to eyeball this because um, this is just to give you a kind of impression of what it looks like. You can do this neatly when you come to do it. And then all you do is um, pop those together, grab um, a hole punch, pop a hole through there, and then pop a hole through there. Grab some 
ribbon. Okay, I'm just grabbing the closest thing that I can find, so it's not quite matching, but it will do. So then you just pop your ribbon through the holes. Now, I know I've made this before with you guys on One Sheet Wonder Wednesdays, but it's such a lovely design that I thought you wouldn't mind me doing it again. And hey, it's a different design with the butterflies and the baby wipe technique, so there we go. Now to find scissors. I have to confess, I've been away, you see, last week, and um, my room is even more messier than normal. And I can't find things, so... You know what, I'm just going to stop there before I <laughs> carry on too far. Okay, so there we go. There's um, a little box uh, using a uh, the baby wipe technique, but making a custom ink pad to create um, some pattern paper. Okay, well, thank you for joining me, and I'll put some photos on my uh, website. If you go to artfulstampin.co.uk, you'll find them there. Okay, take care. Bye.